We can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No. Can you go get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest. In the meanwhile, I, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. Yeah, and I'm the Cleaver. Hey, everybody. And welcome to the coffin of Andy and Lele. Now, fair warning. From what I know, this game is supposedly violently unhinged, just as all hell. So if you're sensitive to pretty much anything, I don't I don't recommend watching this, let's play. Lily, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and to do that. I thought she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Hmm? Good morning, Ashley! Ugh. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it's time for a little interlude. It's titled, Find Nutrients Not to Die. Ready, set, go! Oh, well... Man, it's, it's pretty... It's, it's pretty messy in here. Junk and unpaid bills, they cannot be eaten. That is true, and so the cabinet is... Nothing. You're used to filling your stomach with water, but it's not enough. Your body needs sustenance. Okay, uh, trash? It's already been scavenged several times, but wait. What is that? You got a can of tomatoes? Amazing, you should show that to your brother. Well, we got a can of tomatoes. Where is my brother? Oh, there he is, just chilling out, is he? You show him the tomato can. Ta-da! Not the reaction you were hoping for. Him. <laughs> Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it for a little bit longer. Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so you're clearly not dying yet. Hmm? How did you know it was in... Because I hid it there, away from you. <gasps> I live in a den of snakes. Oh, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. You know what help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine. Let's eat them then, screw our future selves. Well, I'm glad we can make her happy. It's time for you to go cook some tomatoes. Oh boy. Piping hot tomato. Good day. Are you still alive in there? Hello. If you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. I don't bring food for the dead. You don't bring food to the living either. <laughs> I'll tell you that as a yes. Still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guys always screwing up. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check back in on you again later. Bye bye. No, wait. Wait, come back. He he doesn't. He doesn't eat a little bit. God damn it. Looks like it's back to eating piping hot tomatoes. You boil the can of tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. Mmm. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt though. Use all of it to spike your water into a over into what? In order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms. And I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kiss ass. No, I'm saying it's how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an ominous audio <laughs> insults your eardrums. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The neighbor's at it again. Wanna go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Got a balcony key. Huh? Why is the music so... ominous? Hmm. Can't really see squad from here. You contemplate if you take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't you even think about it. Aw, no fun. Guess you have to get set thing up to cross. Oh, is there like 
Oh. Can we use this mop? Nope. It's just the washing machine. A bunch of rented movies, they're past their due date ages ago, but what can you do? A freezer? It's completely empty. Okay. Just some dirt. There's a rope up there, it looks like. Maybe it's a piece of the... Oh crap, are you alright? These god dang DIY shelves, I swear. You got a wooden plank. Is there anything else I can find? Your parents have mer on this bed. Oh man, I'm gonna have to censor this one, aren't I? <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. Oh god, what have I what have I devolved myself to? All for the sake of entertainment. Oh. Set down the wooden plank. What? What's in there, buddy? Oh. Oh, demons from hell. Hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones. I come seeking your advice. Hmm? I'm not going well for you, bud? Ah, god dang it. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have just killed that guy when I had the chance. Oh. What do you... What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? Who's they? Why do we have a warden? Oh, the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Mm, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. My god. They're both a little dramatic, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Woe is you. It is. I mean, you seem in a pretty woeful circumstance at this point in time. I have no clue where batteries would be. It's a cleaning closet. Inside or various supplies such as trash bags. I, is that a shower? That's a very odd way to set up a shower. Where would I find batteries? A hoodie? You take the batteries out of the alarm clock. I mean, we don't need it anyways, apparently. Wonder if I'm missing anything hidden. Dirty laundry. In the trash lie your hopes and dreams. Exactly where they belong. Preach, sister, preach. And we are back, you sp Spoiled frickin' brat. Thank you kindly. Now praise me. Wow. Amazing. You did such a bang-up job. More. Oh, you heaven-sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? No one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You sit in awe. You should sit to it starting. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water has been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those whom are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting, parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration to public safety. That's all for today. Cheers! I'm going to bed. I think that just gave me a migraine. You decide to do the same. Eh, yeah, well, if you're gonna starve, you might as well sleep. Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying in a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay home until... I didn't drink anything. M Mom? Not booze. Not dirty contaminated water. Nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Bye-bye. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a mother... There we go. And now you... How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. 
So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not? Then you'll get to see what happens if not. We never get to leave. It's hell. That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something to ask the workers there, I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear about these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day, doing nothing, and I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyways, I've got to go. Please don't call me anymore. I won't answer. G Goodbye, Ashley. Sorry. Hmm. Your mom sucks ass. I can't imagine, like, abandoning my kids in there. After reminiscing all night, you wake up, as one does, sadly. Instead of ruminating upon your own misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. <laughs> it, yeah, okay, it was a little bit more than a bit of cleaning. Wait, hang on. I wonder if I can call her. Mother won't pick up, no matter how many times you call. You've also tried to order food a bazillion times, but for whatever reason, the orders never seem to arrive. Handy dandy mop. You got a mop. Hell yeah. Mop some dirt. Oh yes. The joys of domestic life. What else is there to take care of? Uh, probably, I mean, we can chunk this trash like straight off the balcony. Maybe we'll take out that friggin' warden guy with it. What's in the drawer? Hold on, nothing. Cleaned up some books. Cleaned up some more books. And is this really... Oh, yes, cleaning simulator. Love it. Uh, dishes? What about in our room? Oh, yeah, there was some dirty laundry on the floor, wasn't there? Hey, you can help. Hey. I mean, when you're starving, isn't it best to sleep so that way you just you know, conserve as much energy as possible? It needs more laundry. Detergent. I'm sorry, what? No, I I missed that. I swear to God, I said drinking it. <laughs> no, I missed something. Oh, well, at least the toilet works. You know, we take our small victories and we can get them. What, well, I thought I got everything. Hold up. We're gonna find it. Ah, oh, the hoodie. <laughs> You're cleaning... Oh. What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Ugh. Come to think of it, do we even have any detergent left? I don't know. Got detergent. You run the laundry. I guess we had some. Man, she, she looks defeated. You're feeling dizzy. Ooh, oh, huh, what? Damn it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo it. She looks so peaceful and not. She kind of looks scary, doesn't she? Or at least intimidating when she's awake. Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been supply shortages in the quarantine households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that has all been taken care of. <laughs> it has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help the staff, we'll be administ- We'll be administ- We'll be- We'll be administrating bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. I hope that clears things up a bit. This is dystopia. This- This is insanity. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be- You- you drift back into unconsciousness. So, they're gonna shoot anybody that gets near the damn building? That doesn't sound like anything official. <laughs> Hello? Of course. What is it? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean, 
I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but... No, or I mean yes, but that doesn't... No, I'm not angry. I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about you. Don't lay at Ashley. And... We've had time to think. Just can't anymore. So... That's it then? No, it's quiet on both ends. Well... Alright, I guess. What does there say? Sorry? Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for... A faint beep 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 of a drop call can be heard. Uh. So. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Ooh, did she dump you? Why is that? What do you think? Your tag's sticking out, bro. How? How should I know? Ain't because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantine? <laughs> or because she found someone new? I mean, it has been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Why are you such an ass? Like, I know this is her brother. Like, I've, I've seen some stuff about it, so I know it's gonna get violently unhinged here in a minute. She's just a giant ass to her brother. God dang. Whatever you say, Ashley. Hmm. There might have been something more tactful to say. Whatever. You pretend to sleep again until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. Is he still out here on the balcony? Yep, just chilling. Someone from your apartment is getting called on to an ambulance. Hey, me too! People are yelling from the balcony. I need some help too! Please, please, I'm starving! Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Wee 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 wee. Don't let me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have sirens blaring for a corpse. The one you suppose is her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? <laughs> I don't... I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Think they'd bring me food if I got pre- Nope. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? We do have that one charming fellow next door. Over my dead body. He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He might just end you. Oh, forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyways. Whatever, it was just a thought. Jackass. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him make none of his damn business anyways. But you're just too exhausted. I mean, I don't blame him for you not wanting you to go over there and get randomly impregnated by the creepy ass demon summoning neighbor. But after sleeping for a few hours or maybe a few days, who knows? You're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. She, she doesn't look like the is even the narrator being a smartass at this point? Oh boy, she's dragging. Oh, and she's down. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in an apartment now? And where in the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much damn noise? Oh, man, I'm just adding cussing to it at this point. He has <laughs> unscrewed the lock. Is it attempting to kick the door in or out? Depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. Well, what else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you. The delivery man will be here in a few hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang bang banging on the door. Or next will be me bang banging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. Do you, do you really think they'll get the delivery today? Like I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though I guess we'll see. And see you did. That absolutely not a thing was delivered. Uh, talk about something. I got nothing. 
cry. So, uh, parasites? It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger? You'd think something would be happening to us by now, but I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Uh, who cares? Me, Ashley, I care. Well, I don't care, nor care, that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. I'm sorry, come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Ooh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's, let's not, though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. How is that romantic? Excuse me? What? You don't see it? Just imagine, hitting the ground together. Splattering! Oh, and with such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains will get so tangled up, they'd have to burn us together in the same coffin. Might as well, we've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? No wonder your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance, not romance. I said romantic, they're not the same thing. And they are not. Romantic just means something is... The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again? I'd wish he'd just... Okay then. Did... Did homie succeed? You feel like you should check up on that. An ashtray. There's no cigarette left smoke, but it's good for bashing things in. A blunt object. Did he... Holy shit, he did it. M my lord. You've come. And you're, uh... A little... A little smaller than I imagined. Oh, I, I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. Oh, um, I... I don't have much to give you right now. But if you help me get out of here, I'm gonna be getting anything you wish. Hmm. Is, is that no good? As you wish. My lord. Thank you. Thank you. Perish. Darkness closed your vision, and you can't see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Uh, 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 so, uh, I'm already... Am I already delirious, or... Or did you see that too? Do, uh... Do we want to go check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn up that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? You freaking wackadoo? I don't care how damn cute you are, you're a psycho. I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Uh, well, I'm not. There's gonna be something that guy has that we can eat. Ooh, burglary time. <laughs> Shut up, let's get in there. The doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. We're gonna bash out with this thing. Cause even I want that damn music to stop. The boxes are- um, what? Smash. The door unlocked. It's magical. Oh, sorry. I, I thought something was gonna happen. That's... a lot of meat, you think to yourself. What? Out loud, apparently. Though, I mean... Is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? It's what illegal? Well, you know. Oh! You want to eat him? It, it isn't- isn't that what you were insinuating? No. I was just making an observation. Oh, but we- we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get out. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I just think messing with the corpse is a crime too. Well, I think cannibalism in of itself is also a crime. Well, I think they should look past him, given that there's nothing else to eat. When the staff here admit that they didn't give us food though, and before that, 
You're going to tell them a demon killed him? Really? That'll fly. Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Mm -hmm. Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. Alrighty then. Let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my god, you did not just say those words. I mean, there's a cleaver right there, but I want to click a few things before we start decapitating and dismembering and eating what I'm assuming is the bathroom cells of feces, and you feel zero inclination to investigate further. Alright, we're going to the cleaver. Got a cleaver. So, uh, you get the arms, and I'll handle the legs. Does it matter which arm? Who? Oh. We'll go with Lefty, it's probably the cleanest. Next up is, oh, the right arm. Oh. <laughs> we can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No, can you go get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest. In the meanwhile, I, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. Boy, oh boy, we're about to do some heinous shit, aren't we? At this point, I don't even think I have to worry about the profanity. I just go full tilt. Ugh, trash bags, trash. Oh, yeah, there were trash bags in here with their. Got some plastic bags. Well, well, well. We're off to commit cannibalism. <laughs> oh, you did cut off the rest of his bits and bobs, huh? Got a right leg? Got a right arm, a left leg, and a left arm. A small problem presents itself. The plastic bags are not big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Crap. I mean, you can like split it down the middle. I mean, getting through the sternum would be pro- I'm sorry, not, not helping these people plot how to move a body. Crap. I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold him over? I... I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn. Alright. Uh, family bonding is family bonding. Yeah, see, if anyone happens to be looking out of their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags? L listen, this isn't going to. Ta da! That bro <laughs> oh good, good god no don't don't make me laugh at this i don't have the power to make you do anything andrew all right all right enough <laughs> gather the limbs up and go there should be plenty enough for them in the freezer i'll stuff the torso and head in the freezer for now then i'll cook us something while you're at it yeah you'll, you'll cook quite the something oh boy oh boy you know season him with some thyme a little bit of garlic, some salt, some pepper, crushed red pepper. Now, which one do you want to eat? Um, which one do you think is the tastiest? I'm a big proponent of ham. So we're going to go with the uh, right leg. Nice. Good cut of, yeah, you know, just, you fry some meat. I mean, we could have roasted it, but I guess we are pretty hungry. I'm roasting it would render the fat much better. Oh, why is it so bloody on the plate? Did you undercook the shit out of that? Right. So, uh, what are we having here? Your deliciousness is what? <laughs> Eat up. You first. Uh huh. What? Oh, you're you're already. Oh, okay. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Um. <laughs> right. Andrew takes a bite of your cooking. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't. <laughs> Swallow. Yes, ma'am. All of it. Yes, ma'am. Well, well, well. How is it? It's... God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love, damn it. So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Then you quit your gagging, you big baby. 
I'll eat it, alright? Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy, I'm so proud. Yes, ma'am. Just fuck off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, 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 thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got a very limited set of spices left. What do you think I should try next? Uh, I don't know, maybe coriander? I mean, it might be good. I'm off to bed. Night night. Yeah, yeah, good night. At least we have food, damn it. You ungrateful bastard. The things we do for this family and you're not even happy, and plus you called us a good boy. I mean... Yeah, you know, it is what it is. We all, we all have problems. Do I have a... What? There's an old drawing in the drawer. Andy and Lele in the... Very, very quiet? Oh, I was reading the damn actual drawing, not the giant, perfectly laid out text below me. And your original vision clearly intended it. Your artistic abilities have not increased since. That's fine, that's about the level I am. You fall asleep, fully content with your life decisions. I mean, you do what you gotta do. Blah blah, said she likes you. <laughs> My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So are you going to be her boyfriend? Gross, no. <laughs> I should teach her a lesson. I'm sorry? You're my brother. Mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Because you're siblings? Or as a person, for that matter. Screw you. I'm the most personist lady in the world. So anyway, I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Well, it's not. <laughs> you should go and ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lele, I, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Oh, come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. If she can be my friend again afterwards, she just needs to remind her how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I already let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Ugh, this kid's a psycho from birth. Do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray! You're the best. Today's episode is titled, Andy and Lele and the Bitch in a Box. This is so good. This is everything I dreamed it would be. <laughs> One day you'll be a bitch in a box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. Damn, Andy. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where, where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play. And when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Finally! Huh? What are you doing here? Surprise! I want to hang out too! Oh. Yeah, I'm going Regina George all over this one. I mean... I guess that's fine. So, did you tell your mom you're here? No. Why? <laughs> Just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way. She thinks I went to study with Julia. <laughs> but why are you here, Ashley? Wait, Ashley. Is her name Lily? Mm, don't care. I can be wrong, and that's okay. It's Lele. Divine Intervention. What? What's that even mean? It means she's full of crap, don't listen to her. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. Let's find a way in right now. Man, bouncing between these voices is gonna tear my ass up. The drop off on the other side of the window is a little too high. Huh, I wouldn't mind convincing blah 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 to jump in anyways. To maybe twist her ankles, maybe break her neck. Is something wrong? Nah, but we can go in this way. No, uh, this looks like... 
Why did they nail this metal sheet thing to the wall? Looks like there's a big hole behind it. Perfect. Tear it open. What? I can't do that. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. Because I'm a psychopath. As in, I literally can't do it, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. Huh. Even though it's this flimsy? Well, I'm like seven. I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? Yo, hussy. A steel mallet. I can't really think of a way a mallet would be useful in this situation. I sure can. It's an... Help us get in, get in the warehouse? Okay, yeah, yeah, in that case, no. <laughs> Lily, I don't even want to know what you had in mind. What are you guys talking about? It's, it's nothing. Let's keep looking. Well then... We're just gonna call her Regina. And for those of you who don't know who Regina George is, just Google it. I'm getting old. Use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Boom, we're in, baby. <laughs> wow, it sure is <coughs> kind of dusty in here. <laughs> Makes me worry about my asthma. Oh shit, she has asthma. If we lock her in that crate, she's D-E-D -E -D dead. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Ooh, I know. How about some hide and sink? Look, you're such a kid. Huh? Andy wants to play too. You do? Well, uh, yeah, sure, whatever. See? Well, I mean, it is fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. I'll be it. I'm gonna count to ten. That's as high as I can count. Hundred. Count to at least a hundred. Okay. One, two, seven. Alright. Let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course. She said no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Lately. You promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Alright, let's see what we can find. This container's already... I mean, it's obviously gonna be this box over here, isn't it? Ooh. Now this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't! Place a stick or something between the rings. That'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No? Well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'd have the leverage to... Ready or not, here I come. Oh crap, she counts too fast. Well, she probably only counted to like 13, so... It wasn't that fast, really. <laughs> Let's hide. Uh, over here? I guess that didn't work. Do I need to find, like, a stick or something? Beforehand? Can I go over here? Where do we get a stick anyways? And he picks up a stick, whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this will do. Hmm. Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The, the stick? No, who do you think, dumbass? Well, eh, she's fine, I guess. Why are you... Why are you so worried about if you think he's uh, pretty or not? I mean, he, he's, your, he's your brother. We're not games of throning in this, are we? Mm. Found you, both of you. Who hides in the same spot? You're so stupid. It, it was my spot first, and then you're it. No way. And he stole my spot, so he is it. Yeah, yeah, I'll go count. I can count to at least 30. <laughs> My hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come take a look. Um, okay. And we push her in the box. Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. I have like asthma, so. And also, I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo hoo, who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I. 100! Oh shoot, he's coming. Hurry, hurry. Uh, oh, okay. Hastily, your friend's hops inside the crate. Uh, no. ah. what? what? What was that? <laughs> I got you now. Bloom, Regina is too weak to throw you off the lid. <laughs> this, this, this isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out now. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up, she's putting up a fight. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Is, is she alright? Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lily. She's just pretending. No one's ever died from some dust, except for asthmatics. Come on, just let her out. What? You believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine. You let her out then. Who cares about me anyways? 
Everyone likes her better. I bet you like her better too. But everybody does. I already know. I'm sounding a little insecure here. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on. I already told you I don't want. And I bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's, I mean, maybe she did, but it's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. But I like you better, Lele. Prove it. Liar. She's manipulative as hell. Damn. Ugh, fine. I knew it. Maybe I'd have more friends who weren't always so. Not even my own brother fixed me over her. <laughs> I knew it already. Didn't I just say? La 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 la. Talk sure is cheap. Get to putting it in the damn hole, pretty boy. <laughs> but asthma. But. There, are you happy now? <laughs> yeah. Just until morning, okay? You're the best. I like you the best, Andy. She's crazy. You hear that, Regina? You get to stay in there until morning. No, please, Ashley. Let me out, please. <laughs> Asthma. Uh, Ashley, wait, don't. Ashley, please. Ashley. Ashley, are you awake? I know she's dead. There's no way she didn't die. Uh, okay. What is that? N nothing. It's just. God, what the fuck did we do? You're still on that about dinner? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How, how are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy, so I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. What else were we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear to God we didn't do it. Yeah, I, we, we wouldn't have had to admit we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What? What in the- what the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now is that some bullshit? But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Whoosh whoosh, there goes my magic wand. There, I've absolved you of all your sins. You never took a bite now. You never chopped his freaking arms and legs off. You're welcome. Well, gee. Thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? <sighs> Isn't this like some extreme circumstance stuff? Like, can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault. First they lock us in for months, and then they won't even feed us. And is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I mean, I, I, I think they could prove you, girly. I don't know, Ashley. There, there. You know, I... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper. So, I needed to chop his head, but... I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I kinda just... Uh, I, like, kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Like, like some plant, I don't know. I keep thinking about it. Oh, I can't fucking sleep, Ashley Ants. Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I, I compartmentalize. Well, kind of like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. <laughs> Ashley! <laughs> Andrew. What is it, Andrew? Andrew. Andrew. Andy. Hey! I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Wah, wah, wah. Mommy, the big bad me did the evil thing. You shut your mouth. Make me a little bitch. Forget this. Hey, Andy. Where are we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Lele's quest for something or another, remember? Why are you bringing this up now? Isn't this just another one of those? Uh, I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? And so we're out of this crappy situation, and then we can unpack it all later. 
or not. I don't think I will personally. But you can go to therapy. Like, I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. Alright, just thought. Let's, let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. They throw us in jail right after. I don't know which is worse, withering in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. Oh, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled Andy and Laylee and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My god, I don't love you that much. <laughs> you make me want to kill myself. Too bad driving down- Diving- <laughs> Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. Your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients, and you're feeling mighty better today. Well, that's good. There's a note stuck at the door, it reads. Awaiting the arrival. Back at the cultist lair, Andy. Aw, I knew he'd come around. Then for a moment there, I honestly thought this was going to be a suicide note. Well, no matter. Let's see what he's up to. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning and instruction manual book thing. Brave? Given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked in offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah, so they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here? Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here it's the same way the cultists did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So, what will we ask her, man? I, I don't know yet. Okay then, uh, what will we bargain with? Well, we can offer him you. I don't know that either. Nice. I, I just barely woke up, give me a minute. It says here demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's gotta be the... Where to get a soul while stuck in here? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley? What? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts to myself. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set the ritual up for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. Candles? Got two candles. Place a candle. Replace a candle. I guess he had extra just for like mood lighting, I don't know. Done. What now? Now we... Oh shit! Still alive and kicking, are you? You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Ugh. Yeah, hi. Hello? One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked. But he's just a B-type anyways. A B-type. Sigh. Uh-oh. Fine. I'll check after my round. The warden's footstep. Move away from the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit. Oh shit. He's gonna come in and see all of this. No, 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 no. Enough. Go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all the blood is pointing at. Oh. Go, before he notices we're not home. And keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse for below then. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. I thought I had the mop still. I didn't know you took it out of my inventory. I mean, I guess you wouldn't just walk around the house with a mop non-stop, but... Damn. And at this point, I'm pretty sure she would lick it clean. She seems to really like, you know, the long pork. We're gonna be real quick when we do this. Okay. Clean the spot. Ashley, the warden's coming. Oh, shit, 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 shit. 
I'm so glad that worked. I don't know why I thought to hide in the closet every horror game ever. However, Tourism tells me to hide in the closet. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? Oh, great, another suicide. Wow, way to be so fucking cliche. What, what the? Oh, balls, how did you get in here? Andy coming in clutch, my boy. My boy. <laughs> Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on then, Lele. Let's go play. That was frickin' metal, bro. Sheesh. I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. What do we do with this one? The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yup. I was a little surprised there. So, where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, well, see how you sleep after this one, huh? Actually, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. Are you? Oh, looky here. Got a key to room 405. He's still dead. Yep, that is, that is in fact true. I want to see what he did over the freezer. Oh, it won't let me? At last, you unlock the door and... Before we go, Ashley... I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuses we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw up. Oh, I'm sorry, did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is... That no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what d went down here to anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see, I'm not so sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. It's quite bad. Knowing you, you think you're going to find mom and dad, but I'm going to say all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. I... Okay, so you never want me to contact anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities, is that it? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, fine, whatever, don't care. If you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I am not going to chill. Just because you think of yourself as impervious to the consequences, so you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the hell off. Who do you think you're talking to? It's... I'm, I'm stressed out lately. Yeah, I can see that. I didn't know you are taking this seriously. There's a half-dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over him. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm? All good. Can we go now? Yeah, I, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad. Or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. Or come fling up food to our balcony. It would have been quite a feat to throw something so high. There's no point. The point is, no one even came to try. So my affections officially died with all the brain cells I've lost while starving. Shit! <laughs> but it's alright. Andy is here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. I'm... I'm sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. You can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. Alright, alright. Let's get the hell out of here already. Plus, we're practically starved. One day where the food didn't do jack diddly. I don't need to go in there yet. Hang on. Oh, I love that doormat. We need one. This is all it took to keep us in. A wooden board. 
It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. You're... I see you're trying to come for me, but your words do the opposite. Ugh, whatever. What's the slip of paper say? The slip of paper inside on the door reads two times A, B. What, what's that supposed to mean? Don't know. Don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. Is this blood types? No, the door reads 2A, 2, 1, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, hang on. I need to see if Homeboy has anything else. He's still dead. No, he, yeah, he ain't got shit on him, then, I guess. That's a key. Nope, no, go back in the building. 302, half eaten cup of noodles, no refrigerators. Notice, now on, AV types won't be given supplies, except if it's someone important. And no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking. Looky, they've got a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? No, looks like it's recording the second floor. Huh, let me see. Great, there's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Didn't the other warden have one? Let's go shoot this guy. Nope, he only had a key to the cultist room and a walkie-talkie. Well, I guess because he was having to go in a room, he wouldn't carry his piece with him. No, they probably work in pairs. It's not like they have anything to do. It's not like they have to do anything else than keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Oh, there's a key here. Fourth floor key. Alrighty, tidy. It's the toilet. There's nothing of interest inside. Well, it's, we need some kind of weapon, don't we? I guess Andy has the meat cleaver. I'm not even worried about that elevator. Go to third floor. We have the key to 3 Hang on. What were the keys for? We have the balcony key, key 405, key 302, and the F4 key. What's the F4 key? Oh, 44. 302, 405. So I guess our only possible option is 302. Hey, hey, hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs? What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? What don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want to get out? I get free food. I can play games all day long. I live like a king and I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait, wait. They actually bring you food? Of course. I literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like, bend over and open wide nicely. Holy shit. Ashley! F you. Get out. Both of you. Leave before I make a scene. Um, well, that was something. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? Oh, she's gonna die now. I mean, wasn't she? Yep, she's dead. Whatever. Is it okay to leave her in there? After she saw us, though? Probably not. Well, you go in there swinging her cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden comes in and he shoots us and then we bleed and we go everywhere. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm, well... If we can get this woman up to the cultist room, maybe got us a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her and lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. Alright. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on. So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe that it'd be fun to meet you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair point. And I wouldn't have left him anyways. I would have killed him. Right then and there. So I guess we just go up to the next floor then, right? And get prepared for the old ooky spooky ritual. Go to fourth floor. So... So what's needed to finish the original setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes though. I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn. They seem to work. Uh, 
Aquarian is faded out. What do I... I mean... You double check if this warden has a gun tucked away somewhere. Oh, he finds a walkie-talkie. Useless. I don't know. At least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact us with this one. Which then indicates time is running out. Big deal. At this point, we're screwed anyways. Hey, what if I call the warden over with this and have the demon eat his soul? That's... Not a bad idea, actually. Two burns with one stone. Though, he'll come and guns blazing. Oh, right. Ah, uh, let me think. While he's at it, you dip your fingers into the dead warden's wound. Just fucking... Just little pentacles are adorable. I have an idea. Oh. Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And, uh, how are we gonna make her do that? You know how. <laughs> Alright then, let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, we wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. That's a fair assessment there, Lele. Go to the third floor. You two again? Sorry, sorry. There's just one thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Huh? What, what do you want? Hey, get off me! Oh. Okay. Alright, so what's going to happen now? As you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I, I don't understand. You only need to understand. We'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please, I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. Your acting better be good. You press the walkie-talkie on. Uh, hello? Huh? Who's there? Uh, hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Um, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time. If you know what I mean. Heh heh heh. Oh, fucking disgusting. Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um, <laughs> nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. Oh, we... All right. Good. Let's go. I look over now. What do you think she'll do? I won't do anything. I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until it's done. Hmm. What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot lately. Catch. Andrew throws you something. Got a lighter. You hurry back up to finish the ritual. Music. Goss. Man, that's just a freaking bop, ain't it? So now what's supposed to- Holy shit, we did it! Ah, something's here! Who are you? I can't see shit! You're asking my name? Hmm? Uh... What do you offer? Mm, yikes, did I mess up? I don't want to pay for its name. I'm here! It's kinda dark, huh? And I'm not doing this with the kind of music on, let's... Ah, the warden reaches for his gun. Ah, him, 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 after him. Blip. So, uh, well, how is it? A human with dark colored soul. I give you this. Got an identifiable small object. Cool. For an occasional clairvoyant dream, the green to the troubles of me. Thank you. The entity has left, and you're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. Man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get to ask its name, nor to ask for a favor. It just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash there's lying around in its old demon buckets. But no matter, the warden is dead. And I guess I'll uh, even have a clairvoyant dream. That'd be cool as hell. You decide not to linger on the fact your soul is apparently as viscous as pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that though.
Well, don't just fucking leave. Check the warden's pockets. Uh, hurry, game. Thanks, damn. Sorry. Got key to the second floor, and I got a gun. Hell yeah. Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady, though. I can't have him thinking anyone's pretty. This is so good. Such a good game so far. Love it. Every moment. Oh! I see. I see. Sadly, your plans for splattering the lady brains on the wall have been, uh, you know, thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bin. Uh, what happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting that you'd want to take your chances with that for no reason. What are you getting at? You didn't say she was pretty. Oh my god. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah, and here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. <sighs> okay, that makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Frickin' every time. Every time indeed. Every time some frickin' bluesy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What is it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to... Oh, God. Oh, you get to blank and blank and some... And the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, Cockbrain. No, it's definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting the hell out of here. Your priority should be me. Blow it out your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. With the body watching. No, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the hell off of my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. Wait, she told you? Oh, what a tattletale. You're better off without loose lo- Oh, Jesus Christ, Ashley. So it really was you. Yeah? All I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullcrap crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it here where I can't as much take a piss without you knowing. Huh. I'd bet you loved it if I killed myself then. Wait, where did that come from? I- Did you- did her- You would, you know. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can just for you. You know I have just a thing for that. Back at your beck and call, just like it was way back then. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I never once made you do anything, but it's always, I don't want to. I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want, then? Well, you see, you didn't listen to a word I said, you know I. Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then, why aren't we friends anymore? Uh, of course we are, just... Uh, forget this, can we go now? Just what? Just go... No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh, no you don't. What's so bad about me? Oh, God, she is crazy. I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Ugh, just stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultist. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit. Andrew, you chopped that bastard up by yourself, and you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock Regina in that crate. Oh my god. Cry yourself to sleep with that, Andy. She's unhinged as hell, so... That just came out of your mouth. <laughs> what? It's true. You chose to do it, and you chose me. 
You chose me, Andy. You big <laughs> fuck of a brother, you chose me. Uh, oh! So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. You won't. You can't cuz I'm the only one you can talk to. And you can't sleep at night and you can't take it. I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that. When you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go. Like Regina did? Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you, can we go? I'd like to go too. But the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We can go. You'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah. So I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though, if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I, I already said there are sleeping pills for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Though, if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. If it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. Mm. <laughs> I don't give a shit about Regina. I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave. You behave? Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? No, I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. <laughs> That's right, our quest continues. What do we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay. And I'm not gonna be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so... Spineless. And I hate Lele like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're just so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yep. I've got the keys to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. And we shall escape now. We're gonna go to the second floor. Ah, exit. Go to cancel? Wait, is the exit on the second floor? <laughs> Look an open window. Great jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chance with that. Damn it. Isn't there like a rope or something we used to climb down? I remember seeing a rope upstairs, didn't I? Back in our room? I think I remember seeing a rope, actually. Or can I just use the carpet? I hope we climb down the window using this carpet. I'm not sure how we're going to secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Oh, yeah. I'll just jump into your arms once you're down. Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. Hell no, it won't. We've got to set up something to hold the carpet in place when we climb down. Well, let's leave it by the window for now. So I guess, I mean, I mean, the couch makes sense. Wouldn't we just use the couch? Why wouldn't we just... We could use the body. <laughs> Frickin' nail gun? Are you kidding me? It was a freaking nail gun? All this time, I didn't think to grab a nail gun. The two of you use the nail gun to nail the carpet into the wall. It doesn't look safe. There's got to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess. Alright, you first then. Damn right, I'm going first. I am a lady. You climb down very unladylike. Oh. So, what happens now? Well, whatever happens now is that we'll skip town and then find a buffet restaurant. Ooh. Then we'll steal someone's identities. Or something continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then, as long as we never come in contact with law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life. And die. Uh, you've got it all figured out. Good god, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First things first, skipping town in the buffet. 
Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Then we're gonna place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere too. Hi. Even then, I don't think that's going to... Shut your mouth. It'll all work out. Unless we live under a bridge or something. Like trolls. We those who hang the toll across. <laughs> How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything's going to crap. <laughs> Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy to be under there too. And otherwise? I'm a heroine from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the, f the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I hope you do. It'd be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep. So you can relax a bit. I'll keep sleeping my eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you? Oh yeah, completely stuck. Get on a bus and drive the hell out of there. End of episode 1.